you look closely at his fur, or her fur I should say, um, you can see there's a little bit of a green, a little bit of color cast there. So let's get rid of that. Hey everybody, I'm Nicole Bagley from Hair of the Dog and Hair of the Dog Academy, and I wanted to create this quick editing tutorial for you to help you remove color cast out of white dogs. So here we are with this image that I shot with this little Boston Terrier, and if you look closely at his fur, or her fur I should say, um, you can see there's a little bit of a green, a little bit of color cast there. So let's get rid of that. So we're here in Photoshop. I'm simply going to go over here to my adjustment layers and I'm going to choose a hue saturation adjustment layer. I'm going to click on that and you can see it automatically creates that mask and we're on that mask level. Okay, and it also creates of course that new layer. Okay, so now we need to select the colors. I can go in here and select greens or yellows or whatever I want, but another way to do that is to go ahead and hit this little hand, um, and then this is our little targeted adjustment tool, and I'm gonna pick this area right here, which is really there or here is where I really kind of see the color, and then we're gonna go ahead and pull that down quite a bit. Usually I find somewhere in the 30% range. Now that's pulled a lot of the greens down and the yellows throughout the entire image, which we don't necessarily want, but that's okay. We're gonna mask that out in a minute. So I pulled the saturation down, but the other thing I'm gonna wanna do to counteract that and bring that bright back up is I'm just going to increase the whites a little bit, or the lightness there, the luminance. You don't wanna go too, too crazy, so right about there. Okay, so now we're good, and then Let's go ahead and zoom out. Oh, yeah, what happened to that color? That's all right, we are down here, remember, on this mask, which white reveals, black conceals. Command I, we're gonna mask that over. So now the adjustment that I just did is there, but having that black uh, layer mask on it is kind of like having basically just a blanket over it. You can't see through it. Um, and what I'm gonna do now is brush white onto this black layer mask and then that's basically like cutting a little hole in that layer. That white's gonna allow that adjustment to be revealed. Remember, white reveals, black conceals. Um, so let's go ahead and grab B for our brush tool and then make sure we're on white. Right now we're on black, so we'll just swap those um, colors right there. And we have our little brush and we will just brush in on the whites. I'll get a little closer. So you can see we start to get rid of those color casts. Get a little bit of a bigger brush. Slide it down here. Get rid of all those colors. All right. Zoom out. Now I accidentally just went a little bit over the shoulder. So let's zoom back in. I hit X just to switch my brush to black. And look, and then we can just brush that back on. So if you accidentally do that, remember that's the great thing about layer masks is if you color outside the lines, just switch your brush color and then you can color back inside the lines. Whereas if you made an adjustment and then like erased things, that's destructive. You have to like Command Z a whole bunch of times to go back. With a layer mask, you can take it on, take it off. You can change with it all day long and it won't um, mess up the image, which is pretty awesome. All right, so that's looking good. I see a little bit more green right here in that shoulder. Let me actually show you the before and after real quick. You can see that difference pulling out that yellow. Absolutely, that looks great. All right, let's add another adjustment layer here and I'm just gonna go straight to greens. And then I'm gonna pull that saturation up so I can see where it is. Yeah, see there's still some green there that I can see on the dog. So obviously you don't want that. So let's pull that down. And then same thing, I'm gonna pull that brightness up just a little tiny bit. And we're gonna command I to invert that layer mask. B for that brush. We are gonna make sure we're on white. And then we'll just brush and get rid of that green. Just like that. I'll probably just brush over this whole thing. I know there was some on his face too. Her, I keep on calling him a him, but it's a her. <laughs> calling her a him. All right, so that's it. And there's the before, 
and there's the after. These are the little things that you can do in your images that really take them from, you know, snapshot basic image to something that your clients can't do um, because they're not gonna be able to get rid of these color casts and make these images look true to life and true to the dogs that they love. If you'd like to learn more about pet photography editing, go ahead and check out the other YouTube videos on this channel, or you can check out all of our free content at Hair of the Dog and Hair of the Dog Academy. The links can be found below.